It's most likely going to be the coldest night I've ever spent in the van. Welcome back to what is a lovely crisp lunchtime in Marrakesh. Mm. Today we're going to be leaving the city and heading towards the Atlas Mountains because, as I'm going to show you in this video now, it's been a pretty crazy few days since Morocco qualified for the World Cup. So I'm going in search of some nature, some mountains, and yeah, we'll see what we find. Let's go. Diesel. Diesel. Uh, diesel. Oh, safety first. Not that anyone else is wearing one. So the journey to the Atlas Mountains is two hours and twenty-eight minutes. I've got half a tank of petrol, and it's approximately ninety-seven miles. So we should get there into a few more places on this tank. I hope it's around the. Um, it's around the time of year that Spotify do their Unwrapped playlist and I'd be pretty embarrassed if uh, people could see mine. It looks like it's been a really tough year for me but I just like emotional music. Mira, Mira. Mira. Hey. Mm -hmm. 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 Yeah, you yeah, like? speak English or French? English. English. How are you? Fine. I'm good. How are you? You are from where? England. England. Yes. Yes. You know that. Because you are is has here. Ah, on the right. Al England, yes. Al yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. It's confusing, eh? Welcome to Morocco. Shukran. Merhaba. Merhaba. Yeah. in the distance so we're getting closer good man um we still says two hours which she said about an hour ago but uh, i'll tell you why it feels like it's getting longer in time i'm driving the complete wrong direction sometimes forget to pay attention to the maps because i just love driving i think it's so nice when you're experiencing new places and you just i just forget to look I just assume that everything's in a straight line Which it's not. It's like life. Young lad on his donkey. It's 
stopped again. Oh, papers. Uh, thank you. Thank you. License. License. Yes, and and. Uh, and the restriction card. You have this one as well. Yes. Is it okay? It's funny, he called me by my last name. He was like, Dugan. But again, he let me go. Um, they have a lot of empathy, the police, I think, for my situation. They sort of give me a chance whenever I say sorry. And but yeah, I've realised I've now actually got kilometres an hour on my dashboard, which I never knew. Although I never really know what the speed limit is anyway, but um, I'm going to try and not get pulled over again, because that's number four. It's the fourth time. But we're about 30 minutes away and <laughs> we'll pick back up when we get to the mountain. Am I in the auto school? Am I right in the middle of where oh, she's learning? Sorry, sorry. Still <laughs> driving lessons, I've just parked up right in the middle of them. So I found a little place. I'm just gonna park up for a few hours until the um the young ladies finish the lesson and I can go park up there, which I hope I can do. You know, there's nothing worse than people watching you while you're trying to learn how to drive. This will do. Okay, we had a little stopover. Managed to get some work done. Heading, me, I'm heading back up to the spot that I found earlier to hopefully not interrupt the driving school. It's getting dark, so there's no time to drive. Is she leaving? I was going to say I can't believe she's still here but it looks like she's leaving so I'm going to pull up closer to the edge and then we'll settle in for the night. Here we go, a lovely spot. Candle keeps falling apart because I keep leaving it here when I set off to drive so it just falls off. It's time for Tajine number two. So I now have this metal plate. I have no idea either how long the gas bottle will last. I don't know how to test that, but I've had this gas bottle for five months now and it's still, it's still burning. Watch tonight be the night that it decides it doesn't want to. So this is me. It's a beautiful like purple sky. I'm not sure what we're going to make tonight. I know it's going in a tagine, so I've only got vegetables because the guy at the shop said he was eating and he didn't have time to get me the chicken, so... I don't even know what that is. Something very meditative about cooking. You're only doing one thing, aren't you? Now it's all just guesswork, instinct. A little bit of that. Sorry, table. Assalamu alaikum. Lavas, hola, buenas. Kulti medien. I'm just making some food. Am I okay to stay here? Uh, no, no, it's okay. Tranquil. It's okay, yeah. yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. I think in the morning the view is just amazing. So I think good night, Dugan. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. It's okay. It it will be called when I stop cooking. Good night. Good night. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cheers guys. What I want to try is putting a little bit of the juice that I've made in first. I've not read that anywhere, I've just felt it. They're very present, the police, in Morocco. 
someone's obviously told them that I'm here and but they are nice I mean they are nice to me I understand that when you are Moroccan the situation is different but they are very very um, welcoming and empathetic to tourists so you know if this was in England I'd probably be a little bit worried if the police turned up uh, in the middle of the night but these guys they're just they're just nice the tagine's on now we wait probably around 90 minutes for this one i can hear it bubbling away it's a nice way to cook food the tagine because when you're waiting for it you just your hunger grows and the smells get more intense and yeah, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna look at it yet. It's only been about forty minutes. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. It was taking too long, so I put some water in and heated it up, just to speed the whole process. And it looks good. It looks ready to. Looks ready to eat. I just need a towel. Where are you gonna put that? There's a large bib. It could definitely have done with a bit longer, but I was just so hungry and greedy and impatient, which is not a good mixture for uh, tagine cooking. It's most likely going to be the coldest night I've ever spent in the van. Oh, I should have put shoes on. Okay, I think this is it for me for the evening. Oh, yes. It's a Friday night as well. Look how much my life has changed in the last 12 months. Oh, it's warm as well, this hot water bottle. It's toasty, toasty. Not sleep with those on. It's a nice relaxing morning. It's probably about eight in the morning. And the light just started coming in and all the windows were frosted over, but the sun has just risen over the mountains there. It's really lovely. So I've got my hot water bottle on, my cup of coffee. I'm just gonna relax and no phone, no nothing, just Work on a bit of stillness because I feel sometimes I'm rushing around in the morning and I just need to take it a little bit easier and adjust to the pace of life in the mountains. Oh, 
Look at that. <laughs> I guess like a lot of tourist attractions, it's full of people and that sort of detracts from the beauty, but I am also a tourist, so I can't just act like a grumpy Moroccan man and be um, upset with the amount of people here, because it is very beautiful, and although we didn't get to swim, it was nice to see, and I'll be in the Atlas Mountains, I think, for the next two or three weeks, so we'll explore some more places, but as always, I hope you enjoyed the episode. Be kind to yourselves, and I'll see you next time.